Hello and welcome to another video. In one of my previous videos I showed you how to install Winbox on a Mac, but since I recently switched from a MacBook to a Linux laptop I needed to install Winbox on here as well, and I would like to show you today how that is done. So let's get started. First of all you want to go to your package manager, in my case that is the pop shop since I'm running pop OS, a variant of Linux. And once that is open you want to install the wine package. As you see I already installed that one. And once you have done that you also want to install the Q4 Wine package, which I've installed as well. Now there may be different ways of installing it for every different operating system. It goes beyond of the scope of this video. But uh, on this web page, for instance, you can see that there's uh, different packages for every Linux variant out there. And... Uh, a quick Google search will help you to install these packages. Now once you installed Wine and Q4 Wine, you want to download Winbox. So let's do that. So you go to the Microtech website, it's microtech.com slash download. Click on Winbox, the latest version will download. Once we have downloaded that, let me show you my download folder. We need to install this into a wine prefix, as it's called. And let's go ahead and create one. To do that, we would want to start the new application that we installed here, Q4 Wine. As you see, I already have a Winbox version on here, but for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you how to do that yourself. So once you're in Queue for Wine, uh, you'd click right click in here and click create new prefix. You can also do the same using the tools menu and then under prefixes and create new. Once you're in this screen, we want to give it a name. In this case, I'll make it YouTube Demo. Choose the Windows 32-bit architecture. And the rest is all fine. You can leave it as standard. And hit OK. That will create our new prefix. Let's go back to the Programs tab here. You see you have basically uh, nothing installed in the YouTube demo prefix except some system tools. So in order to install Winbox we first have to start something inside this prefix to generate the Windows folders inside. So let's go ahead and start Wine config. This will generate uh, the actual prefix. And once that started, we can go ahead and close it again. Then you want to click, right click on YouTube demo, browser, open prefix directory. And as you can see here, this is the virtual C drive of the prefix. So go ahead and double click on drive C, program files, and there we can simply drag and drop our winbox.exe. And we can go ahead and close these windows. And once we're back in Q4Wine, we have to make a new icon. That's basically application launcher, um, just like a shortcut on a Windows desktop, for instance. Click new icon. Then we want to browse to the program, program files, winbox.exe. We can go ahead and give it a name. I'm going 
to give it Winbox YouTube. Now the cool thing is we can select the actual icon of the Winbox application by selecting the Winbox.exe as an icon, which will give you this selection window. Let's take this one, hit OK, and let's hit replace. Once that is done, you can hit OK here. And in order for all these icons not to show up in your Linux environment, you can easily delete them. You can simply start them when necessary from Q4Vine. So I go ahead and delete those. So now Winbox is installed and let's try to launch it from here. You simply double click it and Winbox should launch. Now in order for it to, to show up using your system theme colors or your GNOME theme colors, I'm going to close it again. Right click on YouTube demo. Click on configure fake drive settings. Click on color theme. Select use current QT colors. Hit OK. It's going to update the registry inside the prefix. And then we can try again. Double click on Winbox. And now Winbox is using the colors that your system theme is using. Now the letters are still quite small, so you might want to update those as well. In order to do that, you can close it. Right click on YouTube demo, go to run and start wine config. Select the graphics tab and uh, for this system I found that 110 dpi is a good number. Your system may vary and uh, I suggest you experiment a little bit with this. Simply hit OK, start Winbox again. And you see it's um, more easily readable here. So we can go ahead and close it. Now in order for, it, for this shortcut to show up in your Linux environment, um, in this case I'm running GNOME. Uh, this might be different for every single Linux distribution out there. Um, normally a simple reboot would do, uh, but with GNOME there's a trick, so we can go ahead close Q for Wine. Then we want to, on the keyboard, type Alt F2, which will open this enter a command prompt. Here you want to enter a simple R and hit enter. This will restart GNOME desktop, which will also reload the items in the launcher. And now that it's back, you can go ahead open the launcher, type Winbox, and you'll find the Winbox YouTube there. When you click it, it will start the Winbox inside your Wine prefix. And from here you can log into your router by typing in the address. For instance, uh, the standard default router board uh, or IP address then since there is no password on mine this one I use for demo purposes and it connects and we'll log in and from here you can control your router board so that's it a quick video on how to install Winbox on a Linux distribution Thank you for watching, if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.